It's the Quarantine Group with Cabin Fever Fridays at 5. Now to our lead anchor, Shelly Warfenpoodle. Welcome back, isolationists. Orphan Poodle's in the house, and boy, do we have some news for you. First, Tom, what's in the frame right now? Oh, sorry, Shelly. How many times do we have to do this before you get it right? Yeah, you know, it's just that, you know, this was always Tim's job. I mean, it was kind of Tim's responsibility to do the don't, studio don't, work. No, 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 stop, stop. Don't blame your problems on other people. Tim, you don't mention his name here, okay? We, we don't talk about quitters on this show. As I was saying, Unfortunately, we are down a field reporter here at Cabin Fever Fridays. Fortunately, an eager reporter reached out to me and offered to fill in. Without further ado, here's Johnny. Hello, I'm Johnny Exotic, famed wilderness expert, activist, deep sea explorer, and dinosaur bone collector. Today, I join you from sunny Southern California in the area of Los Angeles County known as the Nub Republic. Join me on this expedition as we document how local wildlife have responded to the quarantine. Come with me and remember, stay low, stay vigilant, stay quiet, and try to keep up. We've stumbled across something absolutely incredible. All right, folks at home, we're gonna practice our animal tracking skills. All right, come close with me. Check this out, right? This is dog shit. Let's see if we can find the owner. Found him. Oh, we found them. We found a whole herd of them out and about in the sunshine. Beautiful creatures. All right, so this right here, what we've stumbled upon here, this is where birds live. Birds, they live up here. All right. Oh, it flew off. There was a bird, but it, it kind of flew off. Nature is healing just as we watch the wilderness. The wilderness watches us. Up to the squirrel. Wow, what a guy. Well, fortunately for you viewers, we have Johnny Exotic on a Zoom call now. Johnny, are you with us? Mr. Wolf and Poodle, it's an honor. You know, your show is the number one thing I've been watching during this quarantine. I mean, when oh, that please. bastard Tim quit the show... It's pathetic. I hope I'm not crossing some sort of line here when I say you never needed Tim in the first place. And, uh, and Tom, what's with that guy, huh? Going to cancelled events, what a waste of energy. But, I, I mean, some of those segments were good, right? Oh, get real, mate. You know, you could do the show all by yourself, huh? If you ever think of uh, restructuring the team, you give your new good pal Johnny Exotic a call, yeah? Uh, uh, <clears throat> well, I'll certainly think about that. You do that, mate. Because I always help out a friend in need. Johnny Exotic, signing out. Wow, well, um, well that was Johnny Exotic. Wow. But we go now to me with the weather. Thanks, Shelly. As you can see, we're expecting a mostly sunny week with temperatures in the low 60s to... Tom, what the hell? I don't know, Shelly. The lights, they just, just turned off on their own. Oh, they just turned off on their own? Just magically turned off. C can you get, get them back on right now? Okay, okay. I mean, like, it's, um, it's kind of complicated. Like, I don't... Um, okay. God. Oh. Out of my way! There, was that so hard, you incompetent donkey? Okay, Shelly, I'm helping you with your show because we're friends. There's no reason for Oh, so you don't care about the quality of the show? Yeah, figure such an incompetent donkey wouldn't care about the quality of this show. Johnny was right! Shelly, you gotta stop calling me donkey. You don't know how to do anything for this show. Maybe if I spoke donkey, you'd understand better. You understand me now? You know what? I don't think this is gonna work. Are you firing me? I don't know. Am I? 
Shelly, we live together. You can't fire me. I don't know. Would I? Shelly, you're not making any sense. I don't know. Are we? Next time on The Quarantine Crew. Will Shelly really fire his best friend? Will Tom put up a fight or cower like the donkey he is? To be continued.